Welcome to Global One Media Stocks to Watch. I'm Michael Swido. I'm speaking today with Greg Reimer. He's the CEO and president of Surge Battery Metals. They are working on a huge lithium project in the U.S. state of Nevada, and they are recently recognized by Canada's TSX Venture Exchange as one of this year's top 50 mining companies. So, Greg, congratulations on that. Thanks very much, Michael. All right, Greg, let's get to it. Your company is focused on developing high-grade metals for lithium batteries, and particularly, I believe, for electric vehicles. The project is in the northern part of Nevada, an area that is quickly becoming the epicenter of North America's lithium battery industry. And recently, you concluded something known as a mineral resource estimate. And from what I'm told, the results are really quite promising. So tell us more. What did you find out? Yeah, we uh, released our mineral, our initial mineral resource estimate uh, last week, and uh, the mineral resource estimate is really what it uh, what it says. It's a it's a, a technical uh, a calculation made by qualified people to identify the uh, resource that uh, that we have at our Nevada North Lithium project. We were very fortunate. We uh, we've been uh, drilling this project for the last two years now, and this is really the first kind of official and a stamped uh, report from uh, from a uh, geologist that's qualified to do this. Fantastic. So the survey indicates that your project has the highest grade lithium clay resource in the United States and one of the highest in the world. So just a note for viewers, lithium clay deposits are a type of geological formation that's formed over millions of years. And while they present a promising source of lithium, extraction can present challenges, usually due to a low concentration of lithium in the clay. Though I believe that's not the case here, though, is it? No, as uh, as you said, our project has the highest grade uh, of lithium in claystone deposits uh, in the United States. So we're very fortunate about that. Uh, our main uh, mineral resource estimate showed that we had 4.7 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent at about 2,900 parts per million, which is very significant. Fantastic. So. If I understand kind of the technical aspect of this, there's something called the base cutoff grade for lithium clay. That's the lowest amount of lithium that has to be present in the clay in order for it to be economically viable. Uh, and that's around 1,250 parts per million. But the lithium clay in your project has a concentration that is significantly higher than that. In some cases, more than 8,000 parts per million, which is six and a half times higher than the minimum threshold. This sounds great. What does it mean, though, if you translate that into dollars and cents? What does it mean for the economics of your project? Well, you can uh, you you can really look at this uh, clearly and say if you have a, a higher grade in a in a concentration of um, of uh, deposit, it's going to be cheaper to take that out and process it when you go forward. And you're absolutely right. One of our drill holes was up to eight thousand and seventy parts per million. Uh, and uh, the cutoff grade, meaning in these numbers that we're talking about are 2,839 parts per million. We didn't count anything below 1,250 parts per million. So there is additional clay there, but anything below 1,250 parts per million, we didn't calculate. That's our, our cutoff grade. Hmm. And another factor that should presumably be good for the economics is that the lithium that you've discovered is near the surface. You don't have to dig too deep to get to it. Is that right? Absolutely. You know, most of uh, our high grade lithium is within 250 feet uh, of the surface. So we're not going down seven, eight thousand feet to to get this lithium eventually when when uh, when we do move forward with the production mine. So if we return to those mineral estimates, I believe the Median survey only covers a small part of your property. How much more of the site remains to be explored? Yeah, when you look at uh, look at our, our our total project, we've got about fourteen thousand acres, and uh, the area that uh, we're reporting on uh, now is uh, you know the strike length for the drilling uh, strike length and width and drilling that we've uh, done. It only encompasses about uh, thirty percent uh, of that uh, that drilled out area, and that doesn't include uh, you know for viewers that uh, have been following our project that doesn't include. Any mineralization north of, uh, you know, our most northernmost uh, pole, it uh, doesn't include uh, some uh, property that we staked about a year ago on the eastern side of our uh, of our uh, project. As well, we have a joint venture with uh, another company called uh, M3 Metals, 
and it doesn't include any of that. So, you know, there's still lots of land out there to continue to work on and to and to expand this project and expand the grade. So as you explore those new areas, presumably there's a lot more metals, a lot more riches, if you will, that you could find. Absolutely. Fantastic. You know, I'm always amazed by the time that it takes mining exploration projects to come to fruition and just how much work needs to be done before you can actually start pulling metal out of the ground. And I believe there's really a lot of work that you all have on the calendar for this year. Tell us what's next. Yeah, Michael, we uh, we got our uh, our initial assay results from uh, our first drill program in January of 2023. And uh, We've just been, uh, you know, going really quickly to move this project along uh, ever since. And, uh, you know, 2024 is going to be a, a real uh, good year for Surge. Uh, we've started off the year by uh, uh, providing our maiden mineral resource estimate, which you and I have spoken about. Um, we've uh, we've got our uh, our board manager, board member, and world renowned uh, kind of lithium process expert, BJ Meta working uh, on uh, optimizing our flow sheet so we can uh, kind of tell shareholders the results of that work and uh, the recovery of the lithium that we're, we're getting out of that work. We're also going to do, uh, you know, an additional uh, drill program uh, this year so that we can further expand the size and the grade of, uh, of the resource. All the while, we'll continue to do surface exploration and mapping of the resource. And we expect by the end of the year, we'll be able to do a preliminary economic assessment. So we'll be able to have some idea of what the eventual economics of this uh, project would be should it go forward to, to a mine. That's a lot of data that uh, you are gonna be putting out and that investors will have a chance to pour over. Uh, so definitely, I, I think people are looking forward to that. Speaking of investors, if we take a look at the investment side of the equation, Surge Battery Metals share price spiked last September and has come off a good bet since then. Uh, despite the selling pressure, the stock, though, is still trading at twice the level that it was a year ago. So tell us, why do you think viewers should invest in your company? Why is it a stock to watch? Well, I, I obviously think, you know, our, our mineral resource estimate kind of speaks for itself in, uh, in terms of the, the grade and size of the resource that, uh, that we have here. And, and again, that's just the first kind of a official type of report that um, we've been able to file on uh, on on our Nevada North Lithium project, in terms of the overall company itself, as I mentioned earlier on, I mean, since January of 2023, we've been working hard on this project. We've advanced it significantly, and uh, you know, the management and board of this company have uh, delivered on everything that we've committed to. So, you know, I think it's uh, a pretty bright future for lithium generally. As you said, the stock uh, price has come off a bit because of lithium prices kind of worldwide. Um, but we're starting to see an uptick on that. And uh, I think that Surge Battery Metals is well positioned to take advantage of that. Well, uh, speaking of the board, your chairman, Graham Harris, he bought 500,000 shares of Surge Battery Metals on the open market a couple months ago. And when insiders buy shares, I always think that's a, a strong endorsement of the company's business. How about you, Greg? Do you own shares in the company as well? Absolutely. Uh, we all own shares of the company and we're, we're committed to the company. We believe in the company. You know, Graham bought those shares in the market at a at a time when uh, you know the the global price was uh, was retreating, and as the the price of our stock was retreating, the global price of lithium was retreating, and he wanted to he wanted to show people in the market that he still had confidence in the company. So he went out and bought a half a million shares in the open market and uh, and pointed to that in terms of his confidence. And so all of us on the board have that uh, have that confidence in the company. Well, putting your money where your work is, definitely a, a vote of confidence. Great to hear. Greg, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Michael. Have a great day. We've been speaking with Greg Reimer, and you've been watching Global One Media's Stocks to Watch. I'm Michael Swadell. Mm -hmm.